Have you ever thought about starting your own podcast? When I was trying to get this podcast off the ground, I had a lot of questions. How do I record an episode? How do I get my show on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, and all the other places people like to listen? How do I make money for my podcast? The answer to every one of these questions is really simple. Anchor. Anchor is a one-stop shop for recording, hosting, and distributing your podcast. Best best of all, it's 100% free and ridiculously easy to use. And now, Anchor can match you with great paid sponsors too, so you can get paid to podcast. I personally love Anchor because it is so easy to record and distribute your podcast. People behind the scenes at Anchor get your podcast on all of the distribution services. I simply press record and then press another button, and poof, it's distributed on all platforms. So easy. So if you've always wanted to start a podcast and make money doing it, go to anchor.fm slash start to join me and the diverse community of podcasters already using Anchor. That's anchor.fm slash start. I can't wait to hear your podcast. On this episode, I talk about how to keep up with your marketing while still maintaining a very extremely busy practice. Hello, everyone, and welcome to episode 79 of the Lawyer Lifestyle Podcast for January 8th, 2019. My name is Dave Scriven Young, an attorney from Chicago, Illinois, and I'll be your host. This podcast takes you on a daily journey to discover key principles in the areas of marketing, sales, and leadership for attorneys. So welcome to 2019. Happy New Year. And um, it's been about three months since um, I last uh, distributed a podcast episode. And uh, I apologize for that. Um, Things have been um, extremely busy at work, which is really excellent. Um, but now I'm back and although we're still very busy, um, I set some new goals, um, in 2019 and one of those goals is to get 50 new matters to come in this year. And I know for someone like me who is not a partner, who, um, is basically, uh, been working my way up and getting, uh, new matters in, that's a, a pretty big goal, uh, for me. I've been following um, some guys online, um, and one per- person in particular, Grant Cardone, talks about 10x. You have to 10x your goals, meaning you really want to have like these massive goals, and even if you don't achieve them, um, you really want to strive um, for something really big. So I really have a, a 50 new matter goal this year, which um, you know I'm excited about. I'm going to a lot of different conferences this year, and you're, you're going to hear all about them. Um, as I go throughout 2019. Um, and so I'm really excited to uh, get back into rolling into this podcast, to uh, going back into the Lawyer's Emotional Intelligence Book Club, which uh, is going to restart in March, and, you know, doing some more blogging and a lot of that. Um, and, you know, the one thing I guess what I wanted to talk about today is there was um, an interesting article um, on Attorney at Work. It's a, a website, and in their business development column, they talk about how to meet your billable targets and find time to build your network. And they taught they have three three different things talking about like how to narrow your marketing message, be clear on you know who your ideal client is, and you know, basically connecting with folks who are going to refer you business. All very basic things, um, but I guess the one thing that the article doesn't address, and the one thing that I think all of us deal with, is how to find that time um, to uh, market. Because if you don't, if you're not finding time to go to lunch with folks, if you're not finding time to, you know, do a blog or a podcast or write a newsletter article or anything like that, um, how are you going to be able to do any of these things um, with any success? Um, and so I guess, you know, the first thing that I guess that I've learned over the past, you know, three to five months is even is when you're extremely busy, um, you can't do everything. OK, there's just no possible way. We had a huge you know document production come in, um, document review, I should say, come into um, our office. We had um, a trial um, and several, you know, a lot of briefs that that we were writing. Um, for this case out in Colorado, 
Um, and so, you know, we just had a ton of things going on and there was no way that I could personally, you know, do my blog, you know, write articles for my blog, write newsletter articles, podcast, um, you know, run a, a weekly book club. There's just no possible way to do it all if it's just one person. And I know a lot of you listening, you are either a one person operation or you're one person doing marketing. And even though I have a, a marketing department within my firm, a lot of what I do personally to reach out and that sort of thing, because I'm not a partner, because I'm sort of in a satellite office of a larger firm, is I'm doing you know a lot of this myself. Um, and so what I found is, you know, you can't overwhelm yourself uh, when, you know, with all of the marketing tasks if if you're really busy at work. And I guess the other thing that I would say is you can't make yourself feel bad about missing events. You know, for, for example, I'm, you know, basically on the board of directors for this alumni group for a public interest organization. And, um, you know, I've missed a, a bunch of their meetings. And basically the one thing that you have to do is communicate. So I communicated with uh, the executive director and told him, hey, you know, we got we have this trial going on, I'm really busy, so I can't come to this meeting um, because I have to be available at lunchtime in case something happens with the trial, this and that. And he was totally under totally understood very cool about it um, and I think that's you know basically what what we all need to do is when we have commitments when we have but we have things come up we need to communicate um, so that's probably the most important thing the one thing that we can't do is to completely forget completely about marketing even in your busiest of times you still have to be doing things um, to market your practice because you know we're all you know, we're all dealing with cycles, right? You know, this document review that I'm doing now, this trial that um, that we just finished, everything comes to a conclusion eventually. And what you have to make sure is that you have um, a pipeline that's full at all times. Um, so you're not in a situation where something ends and then there's absolutely nothing to, to pick it up, um, to ramp up with. Um, and having that full pipeline, um, as you know, I've talked about many times on, on this podcast, um, but having that, having prospects to go to, having um, you know already sold clients to go to, um, have your referral sources to go to, and, and your network, that's the most important thing. And you're not going to have those things if you um, don't market, so or if you completely shut off uh, that marketing pipeline. So. Uh, Basically, that's what I wanted to talk to you about today, and I'm really interested in hearing from you as to, you know, when you're extremely busy, how do you balance your busyness and your mark in your f practice, as opposed to, you know, things that you could be doing or should be doing in marketing. So, would really love to hear about about that. Um, so, you know, shoot me a DM or a tweet at me on Twitter. Um, would love to hear um, what you have to say. So I think that's it for now. Um, your daily action item today is to um, think about what are the very like the most critical things in your marketing today that if you were to get you know a big trial in the door or you know an appeal brief to write or you know some big really big thing that's going to take up a lot of your time. What are the one or two things within your practice, within your marketing, um, that you think these are the absolutely critical things that I'm not going to get away from if something big comes in the door? And what are the things that I can let go for a little while um, while I'm working on this busy thing for my practice? Because there's only so many hours in a day. For me, it was on a very you know a very rare occasion. You know, looking through the news, I have a lot of Google alerts, as I'm sure I've said in the past going through those Google alerts and just seeing if there's anything, you know, really interesting that I just want to shoot off on social media and that's it. Um, or, you know, maybe there's one, you know, I'm committing to, you know, one blog post a month just to keep sort of myself in that area, um, in that marketing mode, even while I'm working, you know, 13, 14 hours a day, actually billing um, and trying to not, well, not only get my hours in, but also getting everything that I need to get done, you know, for trial and everything else. So, um, 
So that's your daily action item for, for today. Don't forget to hit me up on social media. would love to hear from you. Um, I hope that um, you know this podcast is a pleasant uh, su- surprise in your, uh, in your feed. Um, I know you have a lot of uh, things that you could be listening to, and so um, I would really love to hear from you as well. So hit me up on social media, Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, Snapchat. I'm at AttorneyDSY. Let me know if you have any comments about this episode. Tell me what you think about this podcast or give me a topic that you'd like to hear about. I'm going to go back to Steve Fretzen's book, Attorney Networking Handbook. He has a lot of inter- interesting things about you know, making an elevator speech, um, about how to prepare for a conference. As I said, I have a lot of conferences I'm going to um, in January. I'm going to um, the ABA section of litigation um, for a winter leadership meeting. That's in a couple of weeks. Uh, ABA mid-year, I'm actually just going for one day. Um, And then I'm going to the 10X Growth Conference um, in Miami at the end of the month. So a lot of things that I'm going to be getting ready for, um, and you're going to be hearing all of my preparations uh, going into that um, in the upcoming episode. So I hope you want to hear that, Um, but I would love to hear other topics that you want to hear about as well. And, of course, please make sure to subscribe and rate and review It, of course, helps people to find my podcast, um, and it builds our community. So have a great day or night, and remember to fight for the lifestyle that you want. Become that rainmaker that you need to be. Take care, everybody. Have you ever thought about starting your own podcast? When I was trying to get this podcast off the ground, I had a lot of questions. How do I record an episode? How do I get my show on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, and all the other places people like to listen?